Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and I am a gorilla in the wrist. Today we're looking at the Skami 2126s that I highlighted in my recent AliExpress video and asking the question, just how far can Skami go on Casio's coattails? Let's get into it. So we're gonna do a quick run around the watch, but very first, let's do a wrist check. So today I am wearing the San Martin that I absolutely slated at Christmas because of its terrible bracelet. Um, I've stuck it on the leather bracelet. My first Tandorio came on, and actually that solves most of the problems. So that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, today we're here to talk about the Skami 2128. Um, I'm gonna do a quick run around the watch. Um, this shouldn't take long. Um, but it has a, a 46 millimeter case, um, but that bezel around the outside, it only comes in at 41. So it wears a little bit thinner. Um, it's very clearly an homage to the Casio DW291 um, in every aspect really, apart from having the word Casio written on it. it has very similar functionality. Um, it has these, I'm not convinced I like these, if I'm absolutely honest, but these sort of, the, the pushers have got these, I don't know how you describe those. Um, I always think of them as sort of pumps um, that they sit on top of. Um, it is, however, very distinctive and it does make them very easy to use. Um, so it says, me at the top of the dial, um, we have the day, date and month in the top left-hand window. Um, we have something in the middle there, which is dots that move around. I have no idea what they do. Um, there's something that's pretending to be a home time in the top right, but it doesn't seem to change at all. And then you have the time in both 12 and 24 hour modes. Um, it says dual time at the bottom has 50 meters of water resistance, unlike the watch that it's homaging, um, which came with 200 meters water resistance. The strap it comes on is resin. Um, Actually, pretty good. I'm not rubbing it with my gloved thumb. That works well, doesn't it? Um, in terms of how well it works, it feels fairly solid. Um, it's flexible, so it's comfortable to wear. Um, and on the back, I've not taken the stickers off yet, um, but there's a little bit of a spec sheet that talks about the water resistance at 50 metres and the model number, which is 2126. So in terms of the functionality on this watch, we have an alarm. Stop watch. We have dual time. Um, we don't have world time, which I think the DW291 does have, but you do have dual time at least. Uh, it comes with a countdown timer, and that's it. And it does have, and it's not going to show up very well here, it does have a backlight. This one is green, um, and it works really well. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so for me, I think that's absolutely fine. So that's the basic functionality of the watch. Um, this one came in at a startling £4.53, I think it was. So a $5 watch, essentially. Um, it does come with 50 metres of water resistance, and that is a, I suspect, just a mineral crystal on there. Um, I don't think it's acrylic. Um, so maybe prone to scratching, so you need to bear that in mind. Um, but again, at £4.50 something, that's not bad at all, I guess. So that's the watch. Let's get into the dimensions. So this watch has a dial width of 46 millimeters. It has a lug to lug of somewhere between 52 and 55, depending on where you measure it. The lug width is 20. Thickness of the watch is 14 millimeters. It has a digital movement. Weighs in at a paltry 60 grams. Has water resistance of 50 meters. Um, and the crystal is mineral. I really could have done with a crack.
So I'm going to start off talking about the things that I don't like about this watch. And this isn't a very long list. Um, I suspect because in the context of a £4.50 watch, your expectation is quite low. It certainly is for me. Um, the things I'm not a big fan of, I'm not a big fan of the how the bracelet fits. So when you flex it, you see there's quite a gap there. Sorry, I'll do this properly. There's quite a gap there. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I also wish that the... Um, the glass covering was acrylic because then at least I could buff out scratches because I will scratch it because these are going to be beta watches so it's going to get scratched um, and then my final dislike um, is that I really do wish it had 100 meters water resistance now that may be asking too much I don't know why that's the ironic thing is that actually I never get anywhere close to diving um, at all um, the best I'll do is paddling around in a swimming pool and it's never going to get, to be honest, more than a couple of yards below the surface. Um, but it just feels um, more robust at 100 metres of water resistance. You can kind of do it fearlessly. However, we are going to test. So this one does come with 50, so it should be able to go in the pool. Um, this one is going to get dunked for the end of the video. Um, so stay around for that. That could be quite amusing or could be spectacularly worrying. Um, we'll see. Um, but that's it for this slice. It's hard to dislike um, a watch with this sort of price and this sort of specification. It's just a really decent watch. Well, I did say uh, dunk test it, so here we go. This is my daily glass of vodka. Mm, I'm the truth. No alarming bubbles. There's a couple, but no alarming ones. And it seems to be telling the time. Clip it back a bit. Uh, okay, well. Start again. That seems to me like a pretty successful completion of a dunk test. Even better because this one's being given away. In terms of the things that I like about it then, clearly the price is a factor. So these come in at less than £5. Um, the Casio DW291 that it so faithfully homages, shall we say, being generous, um, is still advertised on the Casio website. Um, you can't buy them anymore, they are discontinued. Um, and the price for that was about £40. Now you did get 200 metres of water resistance and you did get Casio durability. Having said that, I have a number of skimmies in my watch and certainly I have ones that I've bought in the last five years that are still going strong without any problems at all. Um, so maybe the durability thing is a bit of a myth. I guess the answer to that will come in the fullness of time. Um, the other thing I like about this is it really does feel good to wear. It's a comfortable watch. Um, the strap is really good, um, no problem at all. Size-wise, huge. When I've got this on my wrist, I've got at least two spare holes. So to my fellow gorillas, you have no worries about getting this one. Um, and to be honest with you, even if it went catastrophically wrong at five quid, you're not losing a great deal, are you? Um, so I think there's a lot to like about this watch. Um, the style, I suspect, is growing on me. Uh, they do do it in a number of different colours, and we'll stick those up so that you can see those. Um, and I don't know if you can hear in the back, back, background, but Bet Bet wants to be let in. Um, Bet Bet's the cat, by the way. Um, so you'll have to excuse me for a bit. And there's a quick wrist shot. Um, there it is on wrist. Um, it does wear big because it is a big watch, um, but it's remarkably comfortable. I'm not straining. It's not uncommon for me when I've got these on to not be able to get the end of the watch through the retainers. Um, but no problem on that front. Um, wears very well. Looks good. I think it looks like a decent watch. So let's have a go at summing these watches up. So for me, there are a few of the Scummy line um, that I wouldn't touch with a barge pole. Um, however, what these ones have in common um, with the Casio homage that they did, the metal one, um, and the non-metal one, to be fair, um, but also with their um, full metal square G-Shock homage. These are really good watches. Um, at five pounds, if you don't have forty pounds for an original one of these, 
these are the next best thing. Um, they're very comfortable. I'm sure there are other really good. I, you know, if you if you don't have it and you can afford it, get yourself a Square G. They are fantastic watches. Um, or pick yourself up a second hand DW two nine one. But if you can't do that, or if you don't have the money to do that, these, there's nothing wrong with these at all. Um, they have exactly the same functionality. Um, they're not as robust in terms of waterproof. Um, and they don't have acrylic screens, which is the one thing I would like to see on them. Um, but apart from that, these are pretty good. And in terms of asking that, answering that question that I set at the right at the outset, how far do I think Scami can go on Casio's coattails? I think these watches are evidence that they can go a really long way. They have sold quite a lot of these. Um, and so clearly there is a marketplace for them that they are serving admirably. Um, so for me, I think these are winners. Um, the blue one isn't really my thing. I like the green one. I do like that sort of camouflage colouring. The blue colour isn't for me. Um, so at some point over the next month or so, I'll be giving that one away. So come back for that one. Um, apart from that, all that's really left is to wish you a fantastic weekend. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching through to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment. I really like it when you interact with the channel. It gives me an idea of the sort of things that you like and you would like to see. Um, so please feel free to do that. And I look forward to seeing you back very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.